Hello everyone, my name is Maxime Chagnot. I'm a Katia consultant working for PLM Technology in Norway. And today I'm going to perform a live demonstration of 3D Expense Release 19X on cloud. And I want to show you a great tool uh, available in Katia. It's Product Table. Some of you already know Design Table that allows you to take a part and make different configuration in only one part. Well, Product Table is more or less the same in an assembly meaning that you will have an assembly containing different parts and you can make configuration by showing or hiding some parts. A simple example to illustrate that would be to take a car and say, for example, that this car has different uh, options when you buy it. For example, you want less, more or less option. Well, you put all this um, option in the car, in the 3D model, and then you can uh, filter which one you want to show or not. Okay, so let me explain you how we can create a product table. Here, as you can see, I have a, a simple, pretty childish example, but it's easy for me to do. It's a, a plate with several uh, objects on it. Okay, so I have triangle, square, circle, and hexagon, and I have some engineering connection on top of it. And I will make a product table to make different configuration. And to do so, you have to go to assembly design, and switch to the tool tab where you can find the product table next to the design table. Okay, so product table, uh, the software is asking me to create an uh, engineering specification, so feel free to call it as you want. Uh, test project table in that case for me. Okay, just tell you that you have to create Excel sheets, is no problem for that. And what is the name of your product table? I will just work call it predictable test, it's just for this example anyway. And here it is, we have a predictable panel that appears. As you can see, you have it also in the spectre here, but this predictable is empty for the moment. We have to create a new row. Okay, I click here and then we have row number one and for the moment it's also empty. So I will just select the different parts and very important that you should do, you should, for the first row, always bring all the parts. So it might take time, but as soon as it's done, you will not do it anymore. And uh, because as soon as you, you've done it, you can make different row in the Excel table. It's very easy to do. So I just select uh, different parts here. And the last one, hexagon, I can check here identifier I have all the part I need and now we will edit the sheet directly okay so I click on that and I have an Excel chart that appears and I will just select the row here and just uh, drag and make several of them okay here we have uh, four different configuration but always remember that this one here we will not touch uh, because uh, this is the, the number one, the original that contains all of them. So what does it mean true and of course false? Uh, it means that when a part is true, it's uh, in the assembly and when it's false, we will just remove it. So as you can see, I will keep also uh, this plate here uh, always true because I want to keep my plate uh, in each configuration and I will just play a bit with this one here. So I will just write false and copy this one in different configuration okay like that like that okay uh, it's important to read it that way in the horizontal okay uh, in the row number two we can see that the triangle and the hexagon will be false while the square and the circle will be true i just save and exit and what i like here is uh, already updated. Uh, you can also click on update if you feel like you're not sure it's updated, but here it is. Okay, um, what we can try here is now we are actually on the row number one. All of them are uh, in the assembly. I will just switch to row number two. Here it is, and as you can see in row number two, we only have the, the cube, the plate, and the circle. Very important here. As you can see in the spec tree, it's only three parts. So really remove the parts. That's why you always have to select the uh, row number one as uh, containing everything. Let's move to number three. Here it is, three different, and last one. 
here it is. Well, that's the way you create a product table. I'm going back to the row number one. Great. And now I'm going to show you another example that I did in the past. Uh, I used to uh, make my room, so that was one of my first room, and I wanted to configure it a bit uh, the way I wanted the table, the TV, the bed, uh, etc. So here, as you can see, another example, I have, uh, well, I have the room, of course, but then I have all the equipment, and it's just a copy. As you can see, I have bed here, but I have the another bed here, and it's exactly the same. I just copy it as an instance and just move it to in another position. And we can just, as you can see here, product table, I'm going to update what I've done here. And we can even have a nicer. So here in number one, as you can see, I have all of them. So it's not what we want. Apply row and now I can move. Okay, so I can show you another view maybe. So it's a nice way to work with and it's very easy, especially if you want, if you are collaborating with your colleague and you have ideas, you want to, to show them different, uh, different proposition. I think it's, it's very easy to do and it's very interactive as you can see. So pretty simple example, uh, predictable is uh, nice. You should always remember to create this uh, row number one containing all of them. Uh, because you want to keep uh, your assembly full of the parts. Okay, so that was it for today. Uh, thank you very much for following us on uh, YouTube. Uh, please subscribe, share, like, and I hope to see you soon again, very soon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.